good evening. I am Maria Slotina, Patrick Burns girlfriend. I am broadcasting from I am escaping from Russia right now at the moment and I I just wanted to get this transmission out. <laughs> There's no FUD, no collusion. I I don't know what you're talking about. I just I don't know. I don't know. I just yeah, I don't know. I I you know, talk to Patrick. <laughs> Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. Wow, that was Benita's other sister, Maria Slotina. Oh, Patrick Burns' girlfriends. So, if you're not following the news this morning, Patrick Burns, and why I'm even vlogging about this is because Patrick is tied into T Zero and Raven Coin. As you know, I love my Raven Coin. Um, I was a heavy miner into that since the beginning, but. What a crazy story, what a crazy story. So, starting from the top, you got Patrick Burns, the Overstock CEO, you know. He's got, basically, you know, he's doing his thing with Overstock, and he's got all of these crypto projects on the side. That's kind of the forefront. Well, you know, he's made a lot of public appearances talking about blockchain projects and how they're hiring all these people and blah, 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 blah. So, anyways. So fast forward to 2015 and 16, he's got some Russian girlfriend who's like, I mean, the story's crazy, like some super spy or something. And the FBI is asking him to do things. Um, and he thought he was being a good American by helping them out. And um, basically, all of this has kind of resurfaced, you know, the whole espionage conspiracy theory of Trump and Hillary Clinton and all the Russian collusion stuff. And um, basically, he, he put in his resignation from Overstock because he made these deep state comments. Um, you know, and deep state is basically this whole concept that there's these inner powers working against certain political parties and stuff. And we're really not here to get politicized and talk about that per se but he made these comments and he wanted to make sure he was no part of overstock which was cool on his part um, and the stock actually went up when he resigned I know they kind of had it out for him for a while but you know check it out he's got his full story I'll leave a link to the full story down below if you know if you're into Ravencoin at all, but it's just this complex, twisted story that sounds like it's something out of the conspiracy theory movies. And um, interesting to say the least, um, but you know, basically by making these comments that, you know, there was this from higher powers or, or were getting him to, to do certain things, um, you don't know exactly what he did. Um, you know, that they're going to come after him to try to silence him as a whistleblower, which is typically, is typically the case when you have somebody that's involved in something and they're pointing fingers. But I mean, let's be realistic. <laughs> you know, the government, they'll write a hundred page report on something and they still can't come to a conclusion. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, alas, still a very interesting story um, with some twists, you know, yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. So anyways, going into the weekend, things are popping along, um, not much to say, Bitcoin's kind of trading sideways at the 10.1, 10.2 area, um, still mining dice, uh, building my credits back up and collecting my honey. So yeah, I kind of went hard on that honey game. So I'm, I'm rebuilding my credits. Um, some bankroll updates, cool new stats with um, the stats page on credits. So you can see your role, which in essence is really how many divs you have earned 
lifetime on the system. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome. So from that standpoint, um, I was sitting at about 87,000 divs. So very happy, very happy with the performance credits. Um, and actually, I, I really think it's gonna continue to grow just because it really makes more sense than freezing your coins and, and staking. You know, a lot of people are like, how long is ROI? How long? You know, you never know with credits. Just the other day, there was a monster buy of almost a million um, beautiful, nice, nice set of divs, um, you know, with, with credits being a stable coin. So if you haven't checked out credits, uh, you know, I got a link below, man. Get in, just, you know. I think the best strategy is if you want to get into credits is like, you know, let's say you got some mining income coming in, you know, just throw 20% in at credits and just slowly build your stack up. And before you know it, um, you know, you're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna be doing pretty well. You know, I always hear that the 10% fee, the 10% fee, you know, the whole concept of credits is it's not a pyramid scheme. It is based on network activity. So basically the concept is that if you have a big enough group of people that you always have people going in and out and divs are paid on both on both sides, on the in and the out. So you have this constant flux of network activity. So basically the divs are based on network activity. It just makes sense, you know, because like when I used to freeze my coins with super representatives, I'd have them frozen and then I'd on freeze it. And then I go, oh, I need, I need some more mining. You know, there's network activity. So basically it's, it's focused on that system of activity. Then it's tied into all the other platforms, Banker, Daily, um, all kinds of interesting, cool things. So, and yeah, but anyways, I, I know from the stats so basically people are like, you lose 10%. I 3X'd my fees on my rolls alone. So just to give you an idea, I 3X'd my fees of entering credits. So the 10%, it's nothing, it's nothing. You know, you know I personally, what happened with me, you know, do your own research, easily covered the 10%, um, three or 4X. So. As always, Bank Teller continues to deliver. Oh, and the launch of Banker. Oh, so yeah, Banker on Tron Trade too. If you have not been paying attention, living under under a rock, so that'll be nice for liquidity. And Tron Trade is pretty much the Lamborghini um, of Tron trading. So very exciting news on that front. But other than that, you know, my alt bags are just still kind of just chilling. Um, some are down about 10%. Got RSR, Raven, um, a little hot, vet. Um, yeah, just a little bag of everything. Not, not a ton of any one big thing, but you know, hoping for some moon action. But other than that, still keep focusing on getting those sats, building that BTC up, and that's about it. So, hope you have a great day. Do something productive today. Be kind to one another. This is Crypto Slow. You're not talking games. We're not talking.